Tuesday. Hello, hello, friends. So good to be back with you and so happy to be here with you. So thanks so much for joining me today. I'm really excited that I'm feeling up to doing a little workout with you guys. Uh, we are going to be doing some upper body because that's all I can do. Oh, oh, Ruth's showing you her upper body. Ooh, work that paw, girl. Work that paw. <laughs> Oh, serving face, serving face. A little woolly booger is what she is right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So guys, I am happy to be here to work out with you. We are going to do some upper body work, quite a bit of upper body work. So kind of the name of the game today is um, we are going to need a full weight selection because we are digging in an upper body. We are doing a lot, we're doing supersets. So we're gonna really dig in. And all you're going to need, aside from your full weight selection, is a chair. Because what we're going to do today, just to make sure that I keep myself safe, is we're going to do all upper body from either a seated position or an upright standing position. So um, how is that different from other possibilities with upper, upper body? A lot of times we work upper body from like a bent position or like a little half kind of squat seated bent position or down the floor. Well, none of those are things I can do. So standing, seated, that's pretty much got us. But what's cool though is, you know, don't misconceive that as it's going to be easier because it's actually, I think you'll find, going to be a little bit more challenging for some of this stuff. Standing, very normal, but seated, I'm throwing a lot of new seated stuff in and we're doing five short sets, three of the sets are seated. And if you recall from other times I've thrown seated work and you get this extra challenge because you've got, um, sometimes it can cause a core challenge because you're kind of having to stabilize, you don't have your legs to stabilize you. And then also um, your momentum is taken away. So even when we really, really try to not have momentum in something like bicep curls, we still accidentally use some body, some legs to get those weights moving. When we sit on our butts, that's out the window. So again, don't think, oh, easy, just think different and maybe even more challenging in some ways. So again, upper body, standing and seated, we're gonna do five sets of two exercises. So two exercise super sets, all but one, we're gonna be staying in kind of the same muscle group for those two exercises. The only place we're not gonna do that is bicep triceps, but otherwise we're gonna be kind of digging into, you know, just chest or the front of the shoulders stuff like that. So it could be pretty challenging. We're going to work for reps, not time. And um, of course, it's always just my couple things, add music if you need it. Uh, no music here. Um, modify if needed. Upper body is one of those things, myself included, where certain exercises are just always tough or um, might always kind of nag at something. So just modify as you need it. If you don't know how, I will be checking Facebook for questions between each set, so drop me a line, or if you're working out with me after the fact and it's no longer live, still leave me a comment or drop me a message. I will be happy to help you modify. And um, again, Facebook, I'll be checking for questions. And last couple things I always ask is share, share, subscribe, like, love, ha, 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 all of those things that get people paying attention on social media. I would love to be able to grow this and uh, get more people working out with us and inspire more people to make great healthy changes in their lives. So anything you can do there is amazing. And then lastly, if you would like to Venmo any donations for these classes, it is the only payment I receive for these classes. You can Venmo me at Strong Style Fit, and uh, any donations are happily accepted. Give what you can. Everything means a lot to me, no matter what it is. So. That's it for us. So real quickly, I was going to just address because we had a couple questions. Anything was going on serious with me? No, nothing too serious. Um, thankfully, as far as I know, <laughs> at least as far as I know, um, just had um, some abnormal skin tissue removed from my leg. Big, like almost three inch gash. They cut into my leg and stitched up and got all sorts of stitches and grossness and soreness and all this gross happening. <laughs> so I can't do any physical activity. I can't squat, anything like that that might tear stitches or aggravate the incision for the next two weeks. So nothing too crazy, but I've had some people ask, so I just wanted to fill you guys in. So um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do on Saturday, but we'll talk about that at the end of the workout. So guys, grab your weights. 
Um, we're gonna do the first set, st first set standing. So go ahead and grab your weights. Um, for these, you're probably looking towards the medium to light range. Um, I'm gonna play around a little. I've not been getting a lot of good sleep due to the things I was just talking about. So I'm not gonna push myself if I'm not feeling as strong as normal today. So you might see me change my weights out a little bit more than normal, but otherwise we'll be good to go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start. I'll show you the two exercises so you can kind of pick your weights and then I'll do my water video check and then we'll get started. So, so you can grab the weights that you want. We're gonna work on high pull. So high pull, we're gonna open that chest, set those shoulders back, weights will be here, and we're gonna pull up. So sometimes high pull looks like this. I feel like that is a really horrible position to put your shoulders in, so we're working here. We're still leaning with our elbows, but our elbows do not continue up to here. Elbows are gonna stop, we're pulling back. And then we're gonna do what's called a YTW. So just like it sounds, just like YMCA, right? We're gonna have light weights here and we're going to go Y, down, T, or lateral raise, and then W. So Y, T, W. Light weights on that one. Probably about a medium weight here, light weight here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna set my weights up, grab water, do all that stuff, and we'll get started in just a couple seconds. I am keeping my chair in frame just so I can uh, keep from bending over too much. Bending over isn't a problem, but it's the uh, whole, I tend to squat instead of bend over, so I don't want to do that. So chair will also hold my weights for me today. All right, guys. So we're gonna start with that high pull, and we're gonna go through about 12. So I would say 10 to 15 is where you wanna work. If you're challenging yourself with a little heavier weights, so maybe 10 is where you're at. Or if you're on the lighter side, but you don't have a heavier option, then maybe you push yourself to about 15 or so. So we'll just see when we get there, all right? Okay, dope. So open up that chest, nice and tall. We pull up. Ooh, the handles of these weights are cold. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Really squeezing in those shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, I'm gonna go a couple extra, 13, 14, 15. Awesome guys, all right, we're gonna go to that YTW. All right, so just like we're the village people, we're gonna YMCA it out, all right? Let's go, we've got Y. T, W, Y, T, W, Y, T, 3, four. of a bang for our buck in the YTW, right? Six. So we're actually getting three exercises in one. Seven. Eight. Remember, keep those shoulders nice and long away from those ears. Eight. What's that? Nine. Nine. We'll say nine. <laughs> 10. Woo, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. 11. Also pace yourself. 
because we are staying in shoulders, just a different part of shoulders next round. I'm gonna do one extra just because I feel like I lost count somewhere in there. T, W. Awesome job, guys. All right, set those down. We're circling right back around to it. High pulls again. I'm going to try a heavier weight. Don't know for sure if that's where I want to be. I'm going to give a shot. All right, so back to those high pulls. Two. Three. on these. Eh, probably not. I'm going to just have some sevens. All right. Y2W. Let's do it. Y. T. W. One. T. W. Two. I think it would be wise. <laughs> for me to go back to the fives. I wish I had sevens or eights. All right, you're probably ahead of me now. I'm starting number three. Three. And honestly, this already feels like plenty. Combined with all the other shoulder work that we're doing and that's upcoming. Yeah, I made a good decision. <laughs> Maybe this is ten for me. Eleven. T. W. Last one. Twelve. Yeah, I made a good decision. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got one more trip through on this set. And like I said, we're gonna move on to the next set, but we are staying in shoulders. We're just working some different parts of the shoulders next round. All right. High pulls. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, it's a challenge, 3, 2, last one, 1, all right, we have got, I'm gonna set these out of the way just for the moment. All right, YTW's last round. My shoulders are already talking. Whew. All right, YTW, whenever you're ready. Two. Six, 
eight. Woo. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Woo! And five pounds feels like twenty-five. Eleven. Almost there, guys. Hang tough. Last one. shoulder and shoulder and uh, we are going to do another shoulder set so give yourself a moment catch your breath shake those shoulders out i'm going to show you where we're going next so you can start thinking about your weights plan ahead and then we'll take our quick break and we'll get going so we are moving to seated next excuse me so we're going to do seated alternating overhead press so it's here boom boom I'm already feeling through here already. So we're doing alternate seated overhead press and then we're gonna do a seated front raise. But instead of the normal front raise, we do like this pretty often. We're gonna flip our grip and we're going here with our front raise. So these are gonna be lighter end and your overhead press is probably gonna be your medium, sometimes even heavy um, for those, okay? So go ahead and get your weight selection set up um, I'm probably going to go a little lighter than normal for my overhead press. Sorry, I'm going to turn around and stick my butt in the camera. <laughs> so I'm probably going to go a little lighter on my overhead press, at least to start, unless it feels crazy light. But paired with the shoulder exercises we just did, probably not. <laughs> so get your weight set up, get your chair ready, and uh, I'll see you in just a sec. to it. We've got our chair and I wanted to point out to you a dear friend got me this adorable sign back here. She's so amazing. She got me a little get well soon basket. I don't know if you can read it, but it says yoga class. I thought you said pour a glass. <laughs> I thought that was too cute. I had to throw it in and uh, wanted to give her a shout out for the awesome gift basket and new studio accessory. All right, guys, so we're going to start with that seated alternating overhead press. So we're going to go for about 20, which would equal 10 each arm. But again, same rules apply. You know, I still, I know we've been doing this a long time now together, almost a year. Um, but I still go back to, you know, some of us still don't have, like I don't have, I was just saying, I wish I had, I wish I had. You know, we don't have all the weight selection we want. And if you've been doing this for a while now with me, you know, chances are that you are needing heavier weights that maybe you don't have. So always take the numbers I give you as a suggestion. So if you're at the heaviest that you have, but you could probably do heavier, then just do a couple extra reps. Or same goes if you have heavy, but you need a little lighter for something like a YTW, then just do fewer and you'll be fine. So just always know that you can adjust the reps. You don't have to live and die by the 12 or the 20 or whatever it is that I assign you. You've got room to adjust. All right, so alternating overhead press. We're gonna sit on our chair. I want you to sit kind of off the edge of the chair. That's where your butt's hanging off or anything, but where you have your sit bones on the chair, but everything else is kind of off the chair. That's how we're gonna use the chair today. So we're not sitting back like we're having dinner or something like that. We're gonna be sitting on the edge as if we had like a workout bench, okay? All right, so let's load up for that alternating overhead press. We are here. We're gonna go for about 20, all right. So you have the extra challenge that you're holding the weight the whole time. So it's not like you're putting one down as you alternate. You want to stop right about that shoulder height or a little below. We're not dropping our arms all the way down to here, okay? Good. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Set these down. I think I will try. I normally do 15s, not 10s, and I feel like I could probably do that again. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those for the next round. I'll just leave kind of everything set up here. All right. So we've got those front raises now. So again, this is where sitting on the edge of the chair is going to be important so you're not bonking the chair every time that you come back. So we've got our light weights here. And again, instead of front raise, this grip, we're going to have like a hammer curl grip. So open that chest up, shoulders back and down. Give yourself a nice seated posture. Let's go. 12. 11. And stopping about chest height. 10. 9. 8. 7. Make sure you're not shrugging those shoulders up. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, good. I'm gonna go for just a couple extra myself. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. And again, just options, right? So the fives have gotten a bit too light for me for most exercises. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just, again, making that point that since I don't have sevens or eights, I'll just do a couple extra reps with my fives. All right. Back to that alternating overhead press. Get yourself set, core nice and tight. Let's go. 20. Ooh, that feels different. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven. Woo, there should be shaking. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're back to that front raise. So again, we don't take big rest here. That's one of the things with supersets is that we just go into it, into it, into it. No big breaks till we get to the end. All right, let's get ourselves set up on the edge of that chair, a hammer grip. Let's do it. 12, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 11, that feels heavy all of a sudden. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll take a couple bonus ones myself. Three, two. And one. Beautiful, guys. All right, we're gonna take just a quick pause, quick, quick pause, and we're going through that one more time. It's a good reminder, I think now, seeing that I need to see if anybody has weights back in stock. <laughs> I just gave up looking a long time ago because it was such a frustrating endeavor. Once I found these, I was this little weight that I was like, okay, I'm, I'm at least good for a while. <laughs> Uh, but stuff like, I say this uh, every now and then, but just a reminder for you too, um, that sevens are great in between when you're trying to build up your weights and you're just not quite there yet because from five to 10 is a pretty big jump. So seven's a good middle, 12 is a great middle. Um, cause 10 to 15, while that's still five pounds, just like the other jump, is a, it's just harder. It's interesting, that heavier it gets, 
the more that five pounds makes a difference. 15 to 20, huge jump. So 17 and a halfs are good. Um, but I would say as beginners, if you can get your hands on seven, and if you get your hands on 12 and a half, you'll really be set up for success. All right, guys, enough of my filibustering. <laughs> Let's go for it. Load them up. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you can do it, 5, Four, three, two, one. You did it! <laughs> All right, set them down. All right, guys. Last set of those front raises with that hammer rotated grip. All right, open that chest up. No. Computer shoulders, open that nice proud chest, stick the girls out. Or guys, I guess, if you know, however you want to think about them. <laughs> All right, guys, let's set it up. Let's go. 12, 11. Again, just make sure you're not lifting up too high here. 10. Always kind of stop short of where you think you should because we tend to always gravitate a little higher, but it feels right. Just like when we do a chest press, and I always say you end up over your neck. It's just kind of the way we view our bodies versus how they really are built. Three, two, one, I'm going to take a couple bonus ones, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, guys, so that, whoo, it's the end of our shoulder set. Now, with arms, we use our shoulders pretty much the whole time, so don't think your shoulders are completely out of the woods, but our shoulder focus work is done. So we're going to move on to chest, and this is going to be a standing set. So we're going to do two standing chest exercises. One, actually both of them are new. Um, one I have done before in some classes. Um, another one is actually totally new to me. So we'll kind of learn together. I thought it looked fun. I practiced with no weights a little bit and it seemed perfectly safe. So we'll give it a shot. So for these, um, both, I'm going to say you want light weights. Um, if you have a lot of lightweight selection, then maybe this is like your five and your seven or your two and your three, wherever your level's at. Um, but if you have, you know, a couple things in the light range, you might want two choices. Um, what we're going to do is a standing chest press. So standing chest press, actually, let me back that up. I keep forgetting <laughs> standing chest press. I keep connecting the wrong exercises. Standing chest press, you'll want something probably about medium weight for standing chest press. And then for our other exercise, light. Sorry, not been sleeping, like I said. So we're gonna hold our weight to our chest. This is gonna be our medium weight. We're gonna hold it here. Again, super important here to have those rolled back, locked in shoulders. We're gonna hold our heavy to medium weight here. We're gonna push straight out and bring it back in. Straight out, back in. So we just don't wanna be here rounding through our back, right? We want to have a nice proud chest, push out, pull in. So that's going to be our medium weight. Our light weight is going to be a standing upward chest fly. So we're going to hold weights here out to the side. Again, nice proud chest and we're going to close. Close. You feel the girls with no weights, right? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So don't need a lot of weight here because if you get out here and start coming in and your weights are too heavy, all of this is going to get so angry. Okay, so light weights, light weight, light weights. So I'm going to go fives for this and 10 to 15 for this. This is when I don't do a whole lot, so I'm going to leave my little selection out so I can bounce around as I need to. 
All right, guys, so I'm, I'm giving our, our upper body a break here by chit-chatting because supersets, we work super fast in the work, but we need to give time for those muscles to kind of relax a little bit, especially because we're going to keep using them. So I'm going to grab some water, check video, and we'll get right back to it. Kathy friend. Hi, hi, hi. I actually, I was hoping you were watching earlier because I know you had been asking about my leg. So if you go back to the beginning of the video, once I'm done, I kind of talk about it, but very long story short, big incision, abnormal stuff, big incision, lots of stitches, can't rip my stitches. That's the, the, the Cliff Notes version of it. But if you want to hear a little more, I talk about it a little more at the beginning of the video. But thank you for asking friend. I really appreciate you caring so much and I miss you. All right guys, so we are going to start with that standing chest press. I'm going to start with my medium weight with a heavier weight available, but this is probably going to be good because remember we're holding a weight way out away from us, which is always tough. When you get a long lever, you got to be really careful about how heavy you go. Okay, so I'm going to stand up nice and tall. I'm going to open that chest, weight to the chest, Keep those shoulders plugged back. We reach out, we pull in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, good, all right. Another little tip on these is that the, the more you can press the weight between your hands versus gripping it really hard, it, uh, can't hang the door, engages in the chest muscles a little more by holding with just pressure in your hands versus grip. Now, not all of this, that's an option, but I just like to point that out if you want to experiment with it the next round. All right, standing upward chest flat. So we're gonna learn this one together. I'm gonna open up that chest, put our weights out, facing forward and wide. It's like a reverse Y, okay? We're gonna open up, we're gonna squeeze through that chest. Ooh, yeah, and bring them together. Ooh. Hello, it's a little lifter. I like it. All right, so let's start there. We'll call that one a practice. We'll go for 12. 12. 11. 10. 9. I like it. 8. I was trying to not go with all the obvious standing exercises to make it interesting. Five, I like it. Four, three, two, one. Cool, yeah, I like that. So one thing to watch out for, I noticed as I was kind of doing my research, is that you wanna make sure you're stopping about that chest level and not starting here and coming up high. I was kind of doing that at first when I was practicing with no weights and I was like, I just don't feel it, I don't feel it. But <laughs> once I started stopping here, felt it. All right, so we're back to that standing chest press. I'm gonna try 15, but hmm, probably not gonna stay there. All right, guys, so again, open that chest up, plug those shoulders back, keep them plugged back. Shout, back, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh, all right, that felt good. 
wasn't too heavy like I was worried about. So, but with that, like some of them went heavier, I definitely couldn't practice the no grip. 15, we just go bloop, <laughs> right on my hands with the no grip. But if you have a lighter weight, you can definitely practice that. Squeezing, because when you squeeze, like just stand here like this and squeeze, feel that chest engage. So by holding the weight like that, you can get a little extra, little squeeze out of those muscles. Well, hello, Rue, you're back. Hi, little girl. All right, so we got that standing upward fly. Shoulders back and down, weights out wide. You squeeze to the middle, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hi little helper, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna pet my little girl. Hi, sweet Rizzo. And we're gonna go back to the top one more time. That standing chest press. So again, just to reiterate all these exercises, we want that chest open and those shoulders staying plugged back so we don't open. But what tends to happen is we open. Okay, I'm ready to go. And then we start to lift and we round. So we start here, we're like, yes, perfect. And we round. So think up tall. And it feels weird. Like it feels robotic almost, you know, because we just do the nature of our work and what we do, we don't move that way, even though that's the right way. All right. So open that chest, plug it back, push, 12, 11. I don't care if you have to stop and restart it between each Rep, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. All right, set that down. We've got that upward fly, and then we will be done with chest. So it's interesting because chest, we almost always work laying down. So it's interesting to throw the standing twist on it and to see that you really can get some good work. And in fact, light weights, usually chest is towards the heavier side. So it's just another way, as I keep endeavoring to find, to use our bodies and work them. All right, chest fly, nice and wide. Shoulders back. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Awesome work. All right, set those weights down. Hi, little girl. I'm going to pet my real one more time because she's such a good girl. And we're going to take our break. So, again, just want to make sure we take a healthy break. I know we're probably not huffing and puffing. Maybe you're sweating. I'm just in a cold garage, so I'm not sweating, but maybe you are. So we're not taking a big break like we would for cardio. That's not the point. We're working the supersets. Again, we're just digging into those muscle groups. But all this works together, right? So it's not like we're never gonna touch our chest again. Or, you know, like I said earlier, shoulders are involved with everything. So we wanna give them time to kind of recover so we don't go into the next set of exercise just completely busted. <laughs> Will we be fatigued? Yes, but we don't wanna be toast because then the remaining exercises will suffer. So we want to give ourselves a little bit of break. So where we're going next, seated, and actually our next two sets will be seated. We're going to do seated bicep curl and seated overhead tricep, which will probably feel really funky because we're used to doing it standing. And I know I'm guilty. I always seem to get a little momentum. Like I notice, I always have this kind of like 
push even as hard as I try. So I wanted to try it seated to see what a difference it makes. So just be careful if you're doing seated, you might want to turn sideways if you have a chair with a back. Just depending on how you sit, you might bump the back of your chair with your weight. So, but, so you need bicep curl weight and you need overhead tricep. So overhead tricep, that's going to be probably one heavier weight. So we're just going to do one. And then bicep curl, of course, we're going to do two. So go ahead and get those set up. I'm going to do my little break and I'll meet you right back here in just a moment. traditional grip or we've got the twisted. I'll let you pick which one you want to do and uh, I'm going to go with the twisted grip I think because that's not one that I normally think of when I pick up a set of weights so I'm going to go with that. Let's get ourselves set up here. You might find a big difference in your bicep curl too. You know it's, it's just really funny the momentum that we get even when we don't want it. <laughs> All right guys. Let's get ourselves set up in square. Again, we're on the edge of our seat. And let's curl. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. I toyed with the idea of throwing 21s in here. Six, but I was like, ooh, we're gonna be really fatigued by the time we get here in our arms. That might not be wise. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, so we've got our overhead tricep. I'm gonna see if I have enough clearance to not bonk the back of my chair here. <laughs> All right, so nothing special about this. Same overhead tricep we do all the time, just the difference in being in the chair. Might feel really different. Might not notice a difference, but you might. So be open to the experience, right? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna set up. Remember, bring those elbows forward, shoulders down away from those ears. Start at the top, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, looks like I can get a couple more. Two and one. Perfect. Interestingly enough, I actually felt stronger in the seated version, so I'm going to up my weight a little bit. And there we go. Interesting. See? Be open to the experience, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so back to those bicep curls. Remember, we don't take big breaks. We don't rest until we are done. Let's pass the curl. Get yourself set up. Let's go. 12. 11. Make sure you're keeping those elbows nice and tucked in. We don't swing them up. 10. 9. 8. 
seven, six, five, four, woo, three, getting heavy, two, one. <laughs> Perfect. So that's about where you want to be. That's when you know that you're in the, the right range. That's when you get to your last couple and you're like, whoa, there, I maybe could have done like two more, but it would have been really tough. And that's where you want to be, where you're like, if you made me, <laughs> my life depended on it, I could do two more. That's about where you want to be. All right. Overhead triceps. <laughs> All right, get it loaded up and shoulders down away from our ears, elbows pull forward, little Rizzo to your side. <laughs> Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That was more like it. <laughs> All right, guys. Whew, just a quick, quick break. We're going right back to it. One more set through. And then on to our very last set. Which again, we'll also be seated. Whew. All right, you guys ready? We're totally ready. Let's do it. Let's grab that bicep curl weight. And keep remembering, don't bonk. It's weight down on my leg, on the knees. Knees are safe. Knees are safe. All right, let's do it, guys. Load that up. Shoulders back and down. Elbows tucked into those sides. Real quick. Real quick. What I say about don't swing elbows up is we're keeping our elbows in, arm curls up. See, my elbow's still pointing down to the floor. A lot of times we get into this number. That is not what we're looking for. Elbows stay down, weight curls up, not up. All right, let's do it. 12, 11. And what you're doing there is you're really isolating the bicep muscle versus curling that elbow up. You start to use your arm, your shoulder, to get that weight up. Six, I believe. Five. Four. Three. You got it, guys. Fight for it. Two. Last one. <laughs> one. Woo! All right, set that down. Triceps, right to it. So if you're wondering why, oh, why does this feel so hard back to back? Tricep, bicep work together. So that's why, even though you're just doing one bicep, one tricep, that's why they feel so tired when they work, when you work them back to back, because they work together. That's why. All right, let's go for it. 12, 11, 10. Drop that weight down, down, down. Nine. Don't stop short. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! There we go. All right, guys. Biceps, triceps are done. We've got one last set. We're going to work our lats. <laughs> Which is like limp. <sighs> our lats back here somewhere. So we're going to relax. So that's those muscles down along your back down kind of beneath your shoulders and down the sides of your back. So again, something we normally work 
lying on our belly, pulling, or heavy machines pulling. So we're gonna do seated, right? Or a lot of times like on one knee or bent over. We can do all these exercises seated, upright, touching our back, not using our legs. So we're gonna do lat pull downs, seated, using light weights. We've done this once or twice recently actually. So that's where we have the weights up here. And we imagine we have light weights. And then we imagine that we've got a heavy, heavy, like it's attached to one of those cable machines at the gym. We've got like 100 pounds on it and we're pulling straight down. So you start at like a Y and you're pulling elbows down towards your pockets. Resist, pull. That's why we use light weights because if you have heavy weights, they're just kind of crash down. So you want light weights, resist. And we're going to do seated rows. So we're going to pull down here, row back here row back. Usually in a row from one knee, pulling, or bent over, pulling. Here, we usually go pretty heavy, but since we're seated, with arms extended out in front of us, we're going to go a little bit lighter. We should protect our shoulders, and because here is actually a lot harder than being down at that angle. So, lighter weight, light weights for both of these, okay? All right, so we're gonna take a super quick break, come right back, we finish up strong. Go ahead and get some weights out of your way while you're at it, just to save yourself some time afterwards, right? All right, I'm gonna leave fives and tens out. I don't think there's a chance I'm gonna go any heavier than 10, but eh, I'll use leave the fifteens just in case, but I highly, highly doubt that is going to be used. So I will join you back, I'm gonna take the video one more time and we will finish up. All right, all right. I see you out there, Stripe Design Print. For all of you that are watching or that are working out live, Stripe Design Print. I will shamelessly promote of this amazing logo that you see here and that you've seen on my tanks, designed by Stripe Design and Print. And if you happen to know my husband, Prednet Nation Radio, and his logo, also done by Stripe Design and Print. Shameless promotion because she is amazing. If you have any design needs whatsoever, hit her up ASAP. Do it. <laughs> and thank you, no half step in. She also definitely subscribes to that mentality. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so we are going to get started. We've got our lat pull downs, our lat rows. I know I'm going to use fives on here. We'll experiment with the lat rows and see. We got a little room here to work out with us. <laughs> sweet, sweet girl. All right, so we've got those pull downs. So remember, imagine, visualize, be with me. We're sitting in front of a cable machine. I wouldn't have my legs like this, but normally I wouldn't have a dog between my feet. So we've got a big cable machine in front of us. Big, long bar, heavy, heavy weight. Put 100 pounds in there. Boom, elbows come to pockets. 12, squeeze through that back. 11. 10, 9, squeeze through that back, 8, really resist, 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 7, 6, 5, it helps me, especially in exercises like this, to mentally focus on those muscles, 3, think about where I described in your back, 2, one. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to do those seated lat rows. Let's get back on my chair just a little bit. Make room for my little girl here. <laughs> All right, so again, same mentality that I've been talking about. Open shoulders. Keep them open. Don't open and then reach out and shrug. Tall pull. Same muscles I was just talking about here. We're working the same, maybe a little bit lower. So think mid, low back, okay? All right, let's experiment with our weights together. We reach out, pull. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six. The halfway point, I'm gonna experiment a little bit heavier. I don't know that it's necessary. Nope. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's not necessary. All right, I'll catch up. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. All right, guys, so I'm gonna tell you one more time this mentality and we're gonna finish up. Two more sets. So same thing I've been talking about, the pull down, I want you to imagine that heavy cable machine, 100 pounds, boom. Same goes for this row. So normally we sit on a bench and we row with the cable machine, we've got the cable machine out in front of us, we have a handle, we sit back and we pull, pull. So same idea, just like that, same mentality. Put that in your head. Resist, pull back, pull back. Hell, you don't even really need weights. If you really think about it and resist and pull, weights don't even really have to be there, okay? All right, so I'll get off my, my soapbox about the pulley, the fake pulley machine, and let's get to it. We're up, engage that core, let's go. 12. 11, shoulders down away from those ears. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hope that helped. Really think about that. Such a good visual. All right, got those rows. So again, cable machine in front of you. Reach out, grab those handles. Boom. You got it? Pull it back. 12, 11, 10. We visualize those back muscles. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, plug those shoulders back. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, all right. Super quick rest, just take a minute. Wiggle those shoulders out. Reset that visual. I'm not gonna go through it one more time. You know what I'm gonna say. Get deep breath, grab those weights. Going at it one more time, last set. You got this. Reach tall. Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Anyone feeling those bicep curls? <laughs> Three, I am. Two, one. All right, one more set of rows. Whew, now I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, guys, so plug them back. Remember, shoulders stay back. We don't reach out. Keep them back. Last set. Let's go. 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven. Drive those elbows back. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Yes, friends. Awesome work today. Ha! Great, great work. So, I hope, if nothing else, well, I hope two things. Well, one, your arms are spaghetti, <laughs> jello, whatever you want to call them. I hope you got a great workout. Of course, it's always my number one. But two, I hope that this is also a great lesson in not letting something hold you back. So, can I use my leg? Not really. Can I still work out? Yes. You know, is it limiting? Of course it is. But we always meet challenges. We just have to find ways to work around them. So what am I gonna do? I can't squat, I can't ride my bike, I can take walks. So 
So I'm gonna do that. I can work my upper body, I'm gonna do that. I can do some core stuff, I'm gonna do that. So don't feel limited. And in fact, meet the challenge. So the challenge I had was upper body workout, but woof, I need to be careful and not bend too much and be careful and not squat. What can I do? I can stand, I can sit. How can I make that challenging and not simple, not half stepping, as we like to say? So, just ways to face challenges. And I just mean fitness, I mean apply it to all sorts of things. How can you face challenges and go through them and be happy with the end result? So, I hope you took that away too. Um, so, that being said, um, I am still on the fence about Saturday's workout. Um, may do something. I'm just going to think about it a little bit more because um, I am kind of limited. Even core stuff uses a lot of leg. Um, so can I do stuff like take a walk, things like that? Absolutely. But do you want to watch me walk for an hour? <laughs> so I'm um, going to think about it. I will get back to you guys about Saturday. But if nothing else, next Tuesday we will meet again and do another upper body workout. If nothing else, we will plan for that on Tuesday. Um, I'm also thinking about, um, I do 30 minutes of stretching before every video. I thought it might be fun to kind of show you guys what I do for my 30 minute stretch before a video. So maybe we'll do that on Saturday. Um, if you'd be interested in that, let me know. And uh, I'd be happy to show you guys that. Even I can't, if I can't get fully in it with my legs, um, I could still show you guys what I normally do. So that's an option as well. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see. Otherwise, as always, I thank you so much for joining me. Share, subscribe, like, all of those amazing things that help us get our message out. And Venmo at Strong Style Fit, not Miss, Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. And um, if you do wish to send any donations for these videos, they are greatly appreciated. And I thank you so much for joining me and for modifying with me today. I hope you enjoyed the workout and I will see you very soon. Mwah.